In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to own your replacement property in your 1031 exchange. And remember, a 1031 exchange is when you sell a property that you've held for investment and you buy another property that you are going to hold for investment according to very specific rules. One of these rules is that you sell the property in one name and you acquire it in exactly the same name show that, of course, on your income tax. In a 1031 exchange, you must use the same name that you sell your property in and that you buy your next property with. So, for an example, if you're Joe Brown, you are selling your property and you're acquiring a property in the name of Joe Brown. Let's say that you're selling the property as Joe Brown and Sue Brown. Then the property you're buying will be in the name of Joe Brown and Sue Brown. If you are the Brown LLC, the property you're buying should be in the Brown LLC. If you're selling your property in Joe Brown's name, you do not want to acquire the new property in the name of Joe Brown and Jerry Smith, your friend, because Jerry Brown is not on your tax return and will not benefit you or that person if there's a 1031 exchange. So there are other ways to go about adding your friend if you want to do that in the future, but do not do it in your 1031 exchange. And as always, talk to your accountant before you start your exchange. My name is Maxine Golden, and I'm your 1031 exchange lady. And I started this channel for small investors like you so that you could save money on your taxes when you sell one investment property and buy another one. The big property owners have known about this for almost a century. And the reason small investors haven't utilized the IRS 1031 exchange method is because often they don't know about it. So if you'd like to save money on your taxes, then hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.